Okay, the other way we can classify triangles is by the lengths of their sides. Okay, so we talked about angles, and remember angle measure shows up, it's the degree of angles, the opening in each corner. This time we're going to classify by side length, so the distance from one corner to the other, or the length of a side. There are only three classifications here. There's equilateral, where all three sides are exactly the same length. There's isosceles, where at least two of the sides are the same length. And notice they are marked as congruent. They have the hash marks. And then there's scaling, where there are no congruent sides. None of the sides are the same length. Okay, so those are the three classifications for classifying a triangle by its sides. So let's classify each of these. Okay, this first one here, notice we have the marks. One mark, one mark, one mark. That tells me all those lines are the same length and what triangle has all sides the same length. That's an equilateral. Here's our next one. I can tell it. <clears throat> Again, they want it by side length, so we need to know how many of the sides are the same length. Well, none of them are marked as being the same length, so we can't assume that they are. So we have to assume since none of them are marked the same length, that they are none of them the same length. And what type of triangle is that? That's a scalene triangle. And finally down here, um, notice we have one, two sides marked the same length. What type of triangle has two sides the same length? That's an isosceles 